Hello, my name is Alexandros Mercouris and I have a PhD in Educational Robotics from the Department of Informatics at the Union University. The paper that I will present you is called Programming Human-Robot Interactions for Teaching Robotics within a Collaborative Learning Open Space, Robots Playing Capture the Flag Game. In this work, we describe the design of an open space that will allow children to gain access and program robotic agents. Through this space, we tend to teach robotics. Thus, we also propose a robotics curriculum where students will be able to explore various computational and scientific concepts. We give insights on the initial design of such an open space and the educational benefits of its use. The presentation is structured as follows. First, in the introduction section, we present where we got our inspiration to design an open space for learning robotics. Next, the methodology is described. In the final section, the design implications and future work are discussed. Introduction Which is the big idea behind our project? The idea is to create an open space that will allow participants to gain access and program robotic agents to play collaborative, competitive games in a physical stadium arena. Students will be able to explore various computational and scientific concepts as they develop human-robot interfaces for the remote control of the robotic agents. We are inspired by Brett Victor's vision on seeing spaces. We similarly conceptualize an open space as an environment like a workshop or a makerspace for enabling understanding instead of building robots. We envision an open space that will enable a constructivist approach to teaching and learning as participants will engage their own physicality to understand the behavior of the robot they will program and use, both locally and from a distance. Which are the educational benefits of an open space? By providing access via the Internet, it is possible to distribute the educational material outside the academic centers, not only to programmers, but also to novices who just want to explore robotics. This flexibility can mitigate the loss of learning, especially in cases where the physical presence of student is not possible due to the suspension of educational activities for health safety reasons. Advanced technologies, such as open spaces, could provide a playful, effective learning environment not only to support students to be self-motivated to learn, but also change the role of the teacher from that of an information disseminator to a facilitator of learning. The robotic infrastructure is quite expensive, so, through this open space, we can offer a stadium arena of robots for online booking and experimentation, supporting young learners who cannot afford the purchase of a robotic toolkit. Game-based competitive or cooperative robotic activities constitute an effective approach to exploit the child-robot interaction perspective. However, in most game-based robotic activities, such as RoboCup or Sumo Fighting, robots act autonomously and collaboratively to achieve the goal. We intend to promote the child-robot interaction aspect through a multiplayer serious game, where one team of robots and humans collaborates to compete with another team of humans and collaborative robots. Which are the educational benefits of such an approach? Serious games have been widely used for motivating and enhancing learning, but the full potential of serious gaming can be uncovered through a game-making approach that connects the roles of players and designers. Additionally, the addictive nature of gameplay mechanics makes serious games a useful tool in various educational fields, such as educational robotics. Especially the use of a familiar and simple gameplay, such as Capture the Flag, could facilitate the infusion of serious content. Methodology here, we can see an overview of the open spaces design and diverse styles for controlling the robotic engines locally and from a distance. An example scenario of the game is illustrated in this figure. Students and their robotic co-players will be split into two different teams to play the 2 vs 2 capture the flag game in various ways. A local participant has gained access wirelessly to a robotic engine with his mobile phone and collaborates with another robotic agent that oper operates autonomously, Green Team. The opposing Red Team 
is made up of two robotic agents that are controlled by two participants connected remotely through the internet. Each team will have a base where the flag will be allocated inside the arena. The goal of the game will be to capture the enemy's flag using the robotic agents and bring it to the base as many times as the game organizer decides. Additionally, the robotic agents will have to protect their flag. We intend to design and implement an educational robotics curriculum where students are asked to develop human-robot interfaces for the remote control of tangible robots using diverse interaction styles such as touch, speech, hand and full body gestures. In a typical educational robotics activity, students are asked to deliver the robots by creating the appropriate computer programs and through the process of programming, they can explore and comprehend a wide range of powerful ideas that extend from STEM to computational thinking. The programmer has to think mainly about the goal of the robot and how the robot will interact with the environment. However, there is another important aspect that should also be taken into consideration, and this is if and how the user will interact with the robot. Putting forth the notion of child-robot interaction, we are moving away from the conventional and well-established robotics curriculum where students ought to program an autonomous robotic agent, to robotic activities promoting a close interplay between children and robots. We aim to investigate various learning aspects of the interrelationship between the robot, the user, and the environment. The curriculum will be divided into three individual but complementary sessions. In this table, we present what kind of applications students will be asked to develop and the concepts that will be explored during each session. In the first session, we intend to address the physical interaction aspect between the student and the robot. As participants, we we'll design and develop human-robot interfaces. They will control the robots through teleoperation using their bodies as input for the interaction. In the second session, we will apply a typical education robotics activity. As participants, we will program the robots to operate autonomously in the environment. Finally, in the third session, we propose an intervention with an embodied learning perspective that blends the traditional autonomous robotic movement with students and actors. Overall, the robotic curriculum will target secondary education students. Nevertheless, with some small modifications, it could be also applied in the future in lower educational levels, such as primary education. We are inspired by the Mars rover exploration missions, so the educational robots for supporting the curriculum will be similar to those used in the Mars rover expedition. Both LEGO Mindstorms and Arduino open source robotic toolkits can be assembled in a way to provide a Mars rover-like robot. We intend to employ a block-based visual programming environment such as Blockly as the development platform. Design implications and future work. The actual implementation of the open space hasn't yet started. However, the expected outcomes of the educational use of the proposed platform will address several scientific and practical issues within the field of computer education. In terms of scientific contributions, it can lead to insight and new knowledge in various academic areas such as child-robot interaction, embodied learning, educational robotics, and learning with serious games. Within the domain of educational robotics, the proposed robotics curriculum has some strong implications for how robotics can be taught in workshops, competitions, and especially in classrooms. In this way, the established curriculum of programming an autonomous robot might be complemented with user interactions, as well as with hybrid modes that blend traditional autonomous robot movement with a child-robot interaction perspective. Additionally, the implementation of a serious multiplayer competitive game with robots, such as Capture the Flag, could further enhance the learning process as this synergy would combine the benefits of educational robotics and those of serious games. Finally, we can distribute the pedagogical content outside the formal educational settings, creating an open space for experimentation and learning, and therefore making robotics more approachable. 
Thank you.